Hi, I'm Mrs. Wirt. I teach third grade and I'm going to be reading chapter 9 today. Chapter 9 is titled New Beginnings. Ashley got out of bed and then rushed to her computer to check the GoFundMe page for pumpkin surgery. She started to cry. Right there on the screen, she saw that more than $7,500 was waiting for pumpkin. Her goal was already halfway met, more than halfway met. She was completely blown away. I wish every single animal had such an army behind them, she posted to her supporters. You are all such amazing, selfless people, and I just can't thank you enough for your support. Ashley walked outside to check on Pumpkin and share the good news. You are truly so lucky to have so many people who love you, Ashley said, as she slipped on Pumpkin's braces one at a time. Throughout the day, she watched the numbers on the GoFundMe page climb. It was so inspiring. People were, were rallying around Pumpkin in a way that Ashley could never have dreamed. She scrolled through the comments. I love you, and I love your story. Stay strong. So excited for Pumpkin. She's absolutely precious. I follow your page from Belgium. Good luck to Pumpkin and her mom. Love you, Pumpkin. Go, Pumpkin, go! This fool was going to get another chance. In just three days, $13,055 had been raised for Pumpkin. Ashley was speechless. Pumpkin's first surgery was in five days. The veterinary hospital was only a short drive from the sanctuary, but even so, Ashley made sure Thee stayed by Pumpkin's side. She wasn't going to let the little fowl go through surgery without her mom nearby. She carried Pumpkin to the back of her car, then loaded Thee inside too. Tomorrow, Pumpkin's front left leg would be operated on. It was the worst leg by far, which made Ashley especially worried. Surgery was scary enough, but tackling the biggest problem first seemed like a risk. There was so much room for failure, but she knew Pumpkin was in great hands. They wouldn't even start the surgery unless she was in perfect health. Ashley dropped off the two horses and watched the veterinarian take them away. She couldn't shake the nervousness that was forming in her stomach. As she drove away from the hospital, she felt like a piece of her was missing. Pumpkin and Thee were part of her family, and the surgery was a big deal. It had never been performed on all four legs of a horse before. Pumpkin needed all the prayers, good vibes, and positive energy she could get. Pumpkin stood in a hay-filled room with her mom. The brick walls were white. There was a green bucket nearby. She had a fresh haircut and a cast on her leg. Just yesterday, she'd had to lie on a table and sleep while people worked on her leg yet again. It seemed as though every time she came to the veterinarian, they checked her legs. She was able to walk around now, and it didn't hurt. They had given her some medicine that seemed to help. Then she heard some voices. It was the little boy and the nice woman. She ran up to the little boy and rubbed her nose against the side of his body. That was her way of giving a hug. It was so nice to see him, even though it had just been a few days. Anywhere he walked, she followed. She had missed him so much. When would she get to go home and play with him? Hopefully soon. Ashley couldn't believe how well Pumpkin was doing after surgery. The veterinarian had placed a steel plate on her plaster bone on the bottom of her foot, where her leg was very loose and bent the wrong way. The steel plate was firm, so it kept her legs straight and in the correct position, but she was still able to bend her knee. Right now, she was wearing a cast to protect the incision, the cut that they'd made for surgery, from getting infected, and also to make sure she didn't end up with any broken bones. But she was walking around with no problem at all, and she looked great with her sleek haircut. It made her bushy mane and tail stand out even more. Pumpkin was the definition of a trooper. Ashley updated her supporters, and they were thrilled with the good news. Yay, Pumpkin, you're so strong and brave. She's so beautiful, and so are you and your family for all you do. We love you, Pumpkin. Stay strong. Deacon was happy, but he missed his friend. When can Pumpkin come home? He asked. Soon, Ashley said. It had been more than a week since Pumpkin and Thee had first stepped into the hospital. 
She needed to be checked on many times a day by the doctors to make sure she was recovering well. If she stayed on track, she would come home soon. But then the next surgery would be two or three weeks later. So for the time being, Deacon was going to have to get used to being separated from his buddy. The second surgery would include both Pumpkin's front right leg and her back left leg. Then after that, she'd need only one more surgery. But the idea of two more surgeries was almost too much for Ashley to bear. Operating on two legs was harder than operating on one, wasn't it? Hopefully, Pumpkin would handle the next two surgeries as easily as she handled the first. Pumpkin's hospital stay was already running longer than Ashley had anticipated, which meant she was running through the fundraising money quickly. She considered how long she could wait before she had to ask again for more money. It felt as though she was always begging people for donations. When would their kindness dry up? But right now, she'd focus on the positive news. Pumpkin's first surgery was complete, and she'd be home soon. 